Welcome to episode number four, creating global filters in Tableau. This is a beginner series called Learning Tableau, which is a playlist that you can watch from the beginning by clicking on the link in the description. Today's topic, global filters are the filters that can be applied to all the worksheets in the data source. Additionally, we're gonna have an intro about parameters and calculated fields. Let's get started. the COVID-19 cases around the world from this website. I have provided the link in the description so that you guys can follow along with me. Download this XLS file. I have already downloaded it. So I'm going to go to Tableau to show you guys how to connect. Click on Microsoft Excel. Double click on the file. It's executing the query. Voila, the data is populated. So for the first chart, I'm gonna drag and drop the location to rows and total cases to columns. This is gonna give me a bar chart. I'm gonna sort it like so. Then I'm gonna go to labels, show mark labels. That would turn labels on. I don't really like the format, it shows so many digits. So I'm gonna go change the format of it by clicking on the measure, format, and then I go to pane and numbers, custom. I change the decimal places to one and units to billions. Sweet. Let me call this country cases. I'm going to create a new sheet where I'm going to drag and drop the same location to rows. But this time I'm going to take total deaths to text. So this gives me a text table and I'm going to sort in descending order. I'm going to go same format. I'm going to change the format, go to numbers. Go to custom, change the decimal places to zero and display units to millions. I'm going to call it country debts. Okay. So now we're going to create a filter that's going to affect both these sheets. So let's quickly create a dashboard. We're gonna, I'm gonna drag and drop these two sheets like horizontally, like so. Now what I'm gonna do is go quickly to the sheet and bring in the continent to filters. I'm gonna filter it by continent. I'm gonna select all. Okay, I'm gonna do show filter. So you can see all the continents here. Now I go back to the dashboard. Now I'm going to click on this little arrow here and say filter continent. So now this brings in the continent filter so based on my checkbox selection. This is going to affect this single sheet over here. It's country cases so affects this. But what I want to achieve is that I want this filter to also affect the other sheet, which is country deaths. How can I do that? So you see this arrow here, click on the same arrow, go to apply to worksheets, selected worksheets, and then go select country deaths. So what it does is that it applies the filter to both the sheets. Now, when I click on the continents, it's going to affect both the sheets. As you can see, this is a working example of a global filter guys. So here you go. So now what I'm going to show you is to create a global filter just like this by using parameters and calculated fill. This is far more intuitive and would be a perfect segue to parameters. 
So what I'm going to do is to remove this filter from here and go to this sheet country cases. So what I'm going to do in here is to remove the filter again and uh, create a parameter. Let's call it select continent and uh, it's going to be of type string select list so add values from i want the values from continent column so i'm going to select it so this populates all the values within continent column and i'm going to add one more value called all it's going to select all the continents and i'm going to move it to the top so others are individual selection like uh, selecting individual continents and this is all continents so i'm going to say okay so i'm going to go here say show parameter control this will make it available in the view but as of now it is not operational because we haven't added a calculated field so the parameter is nothing without a calculated field. So the logic is built in a calculated field. So I'm going to create a calculated field called global filter. And then I'm going to say, use the parameter here. Let's say select continent. If this is equal to the continent, or if the select continent parameter is equal to all give me all the continents or individual continents that's what we are trying to say it's a boolean operation and uh, which has been created in this global filter which is a calculated field and uh, yeah this is the association with parameter and the calculated field and i'm gonna apply it okay i'm gonna bring in this filter to filter and then say true is going to be true. So now this parameter is operational and uh, it's going to work and it's going to show for the selection that I made and all the countries and the number of Corona cases in those countries. I select Europe, it gets affected and shows all the countries and uh, the cases and so on. So we can apply this to the other sheet as well. Like so, um, click on apply worksheets, go to selected worksheets and country deaths. And then say, okay. So now it has been, it's a global filter. It has been uh, applied to the other sheet as well. And now you go to the dashboard and uh, let's say, show parameter control which is uh, select continent and now you see the parameter here and this gonna affect both the sheets now this global filter can affect both the sheets like based on your selection as you can see this global filter affects both the sheets and that's it hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial i have provided the links to the output file in the description See you guys in the next episode. Until then, have a good one.